let's do some data analysis on how I lost my DJI Spark. So long story short, I was flying it and actually no, let's not make it a long story short. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened from my perspective and what I think I may, I may have done wrong and why I also think I don't know exactly what the craft did on its own. I had finished flying and I had brought the Spark back because I wanted to swap the battery because I wanted to go on a longer flight. So I brought it back, I swapped the battery, swapped the battery, I took off and I basically put it into sport mode and I just started flying out to where I wanted to get some shots. This is a critical point here because I think on my part, I don't know if I gave it enough time to update the home point. Uh, I was kind of, I was, I was mentally rushed. So I think that was one failure on my part. So I don't know if it got the home, if it was able to record the home point. The second thing is, is I put it into sport mode right away and, and took off. So usually what I do is I give it uh, a few seconds, you know, I sort of like take off, I'm doing mental note. Yeah, it's got the home point and then I, and I, I go. You can see from the image down here, this is where I took off and this is where I flew out to, if you follow the mouse. And this is where the spark was at the last destination and that's where it ended up. I wasn't sure exactly what happened because after I uh, launched the spark, I put it into sport mode, I got out to here, I probably lost a uh, reception with it, like just, just right before this point here. So I lost reception. I gave it a couple seconds, I waited, it regained the reception. I said, okay, you know, cause they can be, the feed can come in and out sometimes. And then I lost reception again. And I said, okay, you know what? There's probably some interference here. I'm not gonna take a chance. So I hit the return to home button. I don't know if any of you guys own drones, but I, I hit the return to home button. You know, the controller starts beeping, you know, return to home, beep, 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 beep. Now I couldn't see the spark at this time. It was too far out. And it was uh, also a very bright day, so I couldn't see it by looking into the sky. Mistake number two is really, I mean, I really shouldn't be flying it when I can't see it. Okay, well, yeah, yes, it's safer, but at the same time, it can go further than you can see it, so okay. You should be able to fly it without seeing it as well uh, on the same uh, token there. So I hit return to home, it started beeping. I lost a uh, connection. I'm waiting and I'm waiting for it to come back. I don't see it, I don't hear it. I'm waiting, 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 and nothing happens. So at this point, I'm trying to I'm trying to reestablish a connection back to it. You know, I'm moving the antennas around, I'm moving the uh, remote control in the direction I think it is. I'm, I'm trying to get the connection, I got nothing. So I figured, oh, did something happen? So I shut down the controller. I turn it back on, I'm trying to reconnect, but this is already five or six or more minutes in by the time I, I start restart the controller. I mean, I, I did not want to shut the controller down. Uh, I kind of did it as a last resort a few minutes after I realized nothing else is working. So after about 15 minutes, I knew that it was done for because the battery is only gonna last maximum that amount of time anyways, and that's on the outside. I was replaying the situation in my head, in my head, and this happened a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago now. But I, I uh, wanted to take a look at the flight record. So I downloaded this software called CSV View. I just wanted to see like, you know, what the hell was it doing? Because I submitted a support ticket to DJI and they said that, oh, it landed in the water. And I'm like, yeah, but not only landed in the water, you landed it in the water. And I'm like, what? No, I didn't know such thing. Uh, after reviewing the, if I review the flight, if I replay this flight path on the phone, it goes from GPS takeoff to GPS to sport, which is correct. And then all the way until it reaches that point, then it says landing. So right, right here, it says landing. And that's the end of the story. It, it, that's, that's it. It lands here in the water. I'm not sure if I'm correct on this, but I don't think it's, I think it should be hovering before it actually lands. I don't think it actually should be landing in the water. I think when landing procedure happens, it still hovers. It doesn't land all the way. I don't know what the last command that the spark received from the controller was, because I, I know from my perspective that when I, when it's, when I had that re, when I reestablished communication that second time and I said, you know, screw it, bring it home. I hit the return to home button. Now let's look at the logs and see what's up. 
So this is a cool uh, program here. Uh, this kind of shows you what's going on, but let me just add some criteria. So I'm going to go into general. I'm going to say flight action. Give me the flight action. Okay, home status. Uh, these are just general indicators. Uh, home, go home mode, has go home. Okay, in beginner. You can see some of the fields that that you can choose from here. So I'm just trying to pick. I'm trying to pick some of the fields that will be relevant. So GPS health, number of satellites, uh, G app GPS accuracy. Let's grab that one too. Okay, we don't need altitude. We don't need bimbo RC. If I update this this graph, so we can see here at the beginning of the flight. So okay, here we go. Uh, what's the blue? The blue is is the height, right? You can see. So you can see right here at takeoff, we have GPS health is five. I am assuming that's. I think that's good. It's not zero because I have 15 satellites. So you can see here 15, five and 15 satellites. This is in, it's in takeoff mode right now. GPS used, yes. Uh, auto, it's in auto takeoff. Go home status, standby. I'm not really sure what that means. Home has go home is false, but I'll, I'll get into that later. And then uh, general height, okay, G app GPS accuracy. I'm not sure what those indicators mean, but so far it looks like great. So auto takeoff, and then you can see here the general fly state changes to GPS underscore ATTI. Has go home false. I don't know if that's important yet, but we'll try to co corroborate that with some other logs. And you can see here the blue line is my height. The green line is my number of satellites. So right now I have 16. And you can see here, right here, I turn it into sport mode. So GPS at Addy, that means it's just, I think it's just hovering. And now I'm in sport mode. And now you can see my height is moving. I have 16 satellites. Now I have 14, no, sorry. I have 15 satellites, it's 15 satellites, 16. Okay, I'm, I'm moving up, getting higher. I'm at almost 50 meters now, height. Now this is, it reaches a maximum height here of like 82 meters. Okay, so obviously at this point, I'm pretty sure I've lost control of it. I cannot connect to it. I'm still in sport mode. General fly command is auto fly, which doesn't change the route here. So I, I don't think that's relevant. And then all of a sudden, I still got 15 satellites. And right here, you see this big drop? Actually, it's not actually snow, it's not a big drop. So right here, it's like I go from 15 satellites to 14, and now it goes into auto landing. So literally, sport auto landing, auto landing, and it says general flight action, app auto landing. Now they told me that I initiated the landing. Now, the only way that this could have happened and it's possible, like, I mean, it's entirely, entirely possible that I hit land and not return to home. Like if you know how in the app, the the landing button is right above the um, go home button. It's possible that I hit land. Now, see, this is the thing, I'll never really know. So then it starts landing. And my height's coming down, 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 down. And it just lands. And it's in the it's in the drink. Did I hit land? I remember hearing go home from the controller. Auto landing. So I don't know if any maybe one of you guys has a better idea on why it would have done this if I didn't trigger it myself. Okay, let's say I did it myself. Fine, then I'm an idiot. And I deserve to have that thing land in the water. Obviously, I'm not experienced enough, or I made a mistake, or there was too much glare on the on the on the phone, and I hit the wrong button. But is there any circumstance that it would do this on its own? Man, did I hit land? I I mean, yeah. I mean, it almost looks like I hit land instead of return to home. Let's pull up a different log and see what we can find out. Okay, so here's another flight that came back successfully. And if we look at this and compare, 
Okay, this one says app auto go home. Auto go home. So I, I guess I, I brought it back. Go home finish. And then it's in none and then it says general fly command go home. Fly C command. So what was that on the other one? I don't remember. Okay, so I don't know. From the logs, it looks like I hit. I must have hit land. I must have hit the land button and not go home. Is it supposed to land on, over water though? Like every time I. Okay, I don't know. It looks like. I don't know, I can't contest it. If that is general flight action and that app auto landing means I hit auto land, I hit land, then my goose is cooked, I guess. My goose is cooked.